today I am going to attempt to organize and clean my 1400 square foot townhouse in the one hour that I have when my husband and six children are out of the house. So I'm gonna put the timer on, I'm gonna do 30 minutes downstairs, 30 minutes upstairs, and I'm gonna take you with me as I do a big power cleanup. I hope we can do it. Okay, 16 minutes has gone by and I have finished dusting and vacuuming the couch and floor and tidying up the living room. And now I need to, in the next 15 minutes, somehow do the foyer and bathroom and all of this. So it's gonna be really fast and it's gonna be a real workout. The timer just went, it's been half an hour. I was able to do the living room area, the dining area, and the kids kind of zone here. But I really need to now focus on the kitchen and hopefully it's been half an hour since I started. I can do the kitchen in 15 minutes, we'll see, um, so that I can get to the upstairs and I just have 15 minutes left for the upstairs. Okay, I want to leave the 25 minutes that I have on the clock from the second half hour to the upstairs. So I will leave for Philip, who is on morning duty right now with washing dishes. I just filled the sink with hot soapy water and when he comes back from skating, he'll get to that. And then that'll leave me a few more minutes to get upstairs. I've done everything downstairs except mop, but everything was mopped recently, so a vacuum is good. This is everything that needs to go upstairs dirty clothes, a whole pile of toys and random things, and some jackets that we're not using for skating. So let's work on the upstairs now. <laughs> I am a little out of breath. <laughs> Okay, I think I have only like five minutes left. The garbage and things to take downstairs are there. I've done the kids' rooms and now I have to spend the last few minutes 
on my room. <laughs> I'm just changing out the bathroom garbages upstairs and I'm reminded to say that keeping extra garbage bags underneath the one you're using saves you so much time during the week. When I'm really on top of things, I put seven garbage bags in the bottom so that I have a clean garbage bag for every day of the week. I think in all honesty, it took me an hour and 20 minutes, but I was filming, so give me a break for that. I have cleaned the whole lower level and vacuumed it. I have tidied upstairs, I haven't vacuumed, but I was able to get everything ready so that maybe during bath time tonight, um, quickly after, I can do a vacuum then. And I love having a small-ish house. At 1,400 square feet, I can clean up the house in just over an hour and that makes me feel really good. I think you should just live in a space that's big enough for you and your needs. It makes everything so much simpler when you live in a small area that you can maintain and flip things regularly. So I'll just take you on a quick tour of the house after the hour and 20 minutes and see where I was able to get and I feel like I really got a workout so I don't need to do anything more. The family is just coming home, so it's been an hour and 20 minutes for sure. And I'll open the door for them. They are very excited to be back. <laughs> and on the table, I have brownies that I baked yesterday. So they can eat that and then Philip will do the sink. Hello, welcome back. How is skating? Good. Good. I'm just filming. I'm gonna just take a quick tour of the upstairs and then come back for you guys. Wash your hands and put your shoes away. Sure. So you can see upstairs, I got done here. So PJs are there. These are their skating things this week. They don't fit into our bins. Um, the landing is clear. Jesse is all finished and we are working on an altar area here. The kids' bedrooms I showed you, they are ready to go for another round of playing. The bathroom is clean. Hi Gemma, how is skating? Great. Awesome. Wash your hands and we'll have some brownies. I have my vacuum cleaner and laundry to iron ready to go. And then our bedroom is nice and back to being our little retreat. So I think that's great. I feel very productive. One of the many benefits of having a minimalist home is that I spend less time finding things, buying things, organizing things, um, just generally managing the stuff of the home so I have more time with the family and doing school and cuddling and being present to them. It has changed my life in the last few years. Highly recommend it. Thank you so much for watching this week. If you like more of these types of videos about cleaning up, and minimalism and kids, let me know in the comments. I wish you well. Talk to you next week.